This video explains how to fix your HP printer. When the ink carriage jams and a carriage jam error message displays on the printer's control panel or on your computer, turn the printer off and on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If it does not turn off, you might have a paper jam. We will address paper jams in this video in a few minutes. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Then press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press and hold the cancel button. While continuing to hold the cancel button, Press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. In this step, we'll fix this problem. Begin by removing any loose paper from the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. In some cases, it might not turn off. Whether or not the printer turns off, in the next step you'll need to unplug the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. If present, remove the USB cable from the printer. Unplug the power cord. Remove the rear access door. To do this, Press in the tab on the left side of the door and pull the door away from the printer. Check the back of the printer for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the back of the printer to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Reattach the rear access door. To do this, insert the two pegs on the rear access door into the adjoining openings on the back of the printer. Then push the door towards the printer until it snaps into place. If you can't remove the paper jam from the back, you can attempt to remove it from the front. Return to the front. Grasp any jammed paper in the paper tray with both hands and then pull it toward you to remove it. Remove the paper as carefully as possible. If any torn pieces remain inside, more paper jams are likely to occur. Open the cartridge access door. Carefully remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all the small pieces that might tear off. Check the rollers and wheels for any remaining pieces of paper. You must remove all scraps of paper to prevent future jams. Small pieces of paper can easily stick in places that are difficult to see. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search left and right inside the printer. Searching the carriage path with a flashlight is an important step in preventing future jams. When you've removed the paper, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Align a stack of paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. 
Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press and hold the Cancel button. While continuing to hold the Cancel button, press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Open the cartridge access door so that you can view the carriage. The carriage might try to move into the access area of the printer. If it does, allow it to move to that position. Turn to the back of the printer. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Return to the front. Look inside the printer and check for obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. Use a flashlight for proper viewing. Remove any obstructions that are found. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. If pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more jams are likely to occur. Reach into the cartridge access area, and then manually move the carriage. Ensure the carriage moves freely from all the way to the left to all the way to the right. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press and hold the Cancel button. While continuing to hold the Cancel button, press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes, improper installation or placement of the ink cartridges can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we'll fix this problem. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage might try to move into the center of the printer. If it does, allow it to move to that position. Allow the carriage to stop moving. Then. Select a cartridge to remove and lightly press down on the top of the cartridge to release it. Pull the cartridge towards you to remove it from the slot. Repeat for both cartridges. When handling the cartridges, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink nozzles. Be careful not to touch the contacts or nozzles, because touching these can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Once both cartridges are removed, you can reinstall them. Make sure that you reinstall each cartridge into its correct slot. Try color on the left and black on the right. Holding the cartridge on the top and bottom, slide it directly into the open slot. Repeat reinstallation for both cartridges. When all the cartridges are in, Close the cartridge access door. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press and hold the Cancel button. 
While continuing to hold the Cancel button, press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, you will plug the printer directly into a wall outlet to make sure the power source is functioning correctly. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Then, plug the other end of the power cord back into the printer. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press and hold the Cancel button. While continuing to hold the Cancel button, press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 20 seconds. It is important to wait the full 20 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the printer's control panel, press and hold the Cancel button. While continuing to hold the Cancel button, press the OK button. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.